Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Steam controller. I actually just got it and this is not the beta version, this is the actual official version that is getting sent out to people. Uh, I just got mine, so let's take a look here. Let's cut this off of here. It's a nice little plastic cover thing. Oh, it's actually got something going on in the middle there. Let's open this up and take a look what's going on underneath oh interesting so that's actually a little diagram of how the steam controller is built and what's going on underneath of it and this is the actual box itself um, it's got another little piece of tape here let's cut that and open it up there it is that looks really good um, so let's take it out of the box here and take a look at it oh I actually noticed immediately right off the bat that there's actual paddle triggers on the back that's interesting got triggers here triggers here bumpers here the inverted thumbsticks I think that'll take a long time to get used to at your actual thumbstick here, your steam button back. Interesting. Looks like down here is the on button. Oh no, that pops off the back. Oh, must be for the batteries. I think. Interesting. So let's put this back on for now. Click that in. And let's take a look at the rest of the box. We have a little tiny USB adapter. I assume that's what goes into the computer since the controller is wireless. We have two Duracell AA batteries and looks like a manual. Oh, and oh, this is great. This is a, a little uh, extension dock system so that you can have your uh, wireless transmitter somewhere other than your computer so it's just a basic usb extender but that'll be really nice i have one of those for my headsets already so i'll use that now let's take a look at the actual manual itself um, just some basic instructions oh there we go that's actually how you install the batteries how interesting so pop off the back Take that back panel off of there. And the batteries actually go on either side. So I got the batteries out here. And they go in like that. Positive. And that just, oh, that's, that's awesome. So yeah, you put the positive end down like that and then push in. A little tough to get them in there all right so now we're actually going to test the device itself i've got the batteries in here and we're going to see how it actually works here's the little dongle i'm going to pop that into my keyboard here and then it says you just have to press the steam controller button i'm going to give it a second on my machine to do any sort of driver driver initialization that needs to happen but then let's see what happens if i press the button Looks like the controller has turned on at this point, and I'm assuming that the link has been made to the actual device itself. So let's take a look and see if it is recognized in Steam. Okay, so it looks like we now have the option to use your Steam controller. It says please run Steam in big picture mode to make full use of your controller. Let's hit close on that, and let's go into big picture mode. So, looks like I can update the controller firmware first things first. Looks like it's, oh, there we go. Let's update it. Let's see how that goes. All right, the Steam controller firmware has been updated. That was pretty quick. Um, I actually kind of like that the hard, or the controller itself can get a firmware update. 
So it actually does not allow you to move using the uh, D-pad or the other uh, push-down button. So you have to use the stick for that. Um, let's just go to my library and let's see um, which games it work pretty well. So let's get ready to play Rocket League and see how the Steam controller fares against some other... Normally I use an Xbox controller for this and it works pretty well actually. So we'll see how this runs. I've actually also never tried Steam Big Picture mode, so it's a little interesting. Alright, looks pretty nice. Let's just do... I won't do an online game, I'll just do a quick exhibition match and see how it works. Let's auto join. I assume the trigger is for go. Yes, B is for boost. Right, interesting. Let's see if I can. Okay, so I can't actually control anything with the uh, D pad itself, so that's a little interesting. I wonder how it's that work. It feels really premium and really nice in my hand as well, so that's something I wasn't really expecting. I was kind of expecting it to feel kind of cheap and flimsy but work really well, so this is a little bit different. As you can see, I'm not really the best in Rocket League or even very good at all. So that's the Steam controller unboxing and review. Um, it's kind of an interesting little device. It's a little lighter than I expected, but it still feels very premium in the hand. Um, I like these back paddles. They're really intuitive to press and they can be mapped to anything. So in Rocket League, they were mapped to my Y for switching the camera back and forth and my I believe X for sliding, so that was really nice and useful. Um, these little push down pads, um, I thought they'd be used more, but I actually played Rocket League and you don't actually need them at all. Um, you can just use the one thumb stick and the buttons down below, but I think that's kind of Valve's idea behind the controller itself. Um, you most of the time just use the one thumb stick and then if you need to change the camera angle or something, you can press this little button up here. So overall, really nice. Um, I like that they included the AA batteries. I welcome the USB extender, and overall, it's a really nice controller, and I can't wait to see what Valve does from here. Anyways, um, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comment section below. Um, anyways, thanks.